good morning ladies and gentlemen good morning afternoon evening everyone depends on wherever you watching me from uh today topic is um i'm going to talk about the difference between the yesterday years mothers the great yesterday years mothers and the new generation mothers what kind of a mother are you do you belong to this set of our great mothers of yes or these new generational wives the difference is this the new generational wives If they would love to emulate our mothers of yesteryears, it would be every marriage, every home would be the best marriages today. Our yesteryears mothers were very, very submissive to their husbands. They were always there for them to take and thin they were humble so humble they were so loyal they were so faithful they were just everything a man would ask for they were great in every ramifications they were great in every areas they knew what was marriage. They knew what was marriage. They knew you have to hold your husband properly, take good care of the family. You have to nurture your, your homes, take good care. They knew the part the wife should play. They respected their home. They respected their husbands. They respected the family. Of their husbands in Africa you are not just married alone to yourself or to the man you were married to you are married also to the families to his friends and to the community at large our mothers of old they were so welcoming they were so homely when the husband for example when the friends of their husband comes home to visit if the husband isn't home the wife will accommodate them. They were so accommodating. They will accommodate those men, take good care of them. To the extent the visitors will never want to go. They will cook for them. They will serve them with obedience. But uh, some of our generational women, I will say, put it, they have they don't they don't have these characters they lack such characters they lack they, they lack such beautiful qualities in them the women of old they knew how to make their husbands smile they knew they were so soft the words that comes out of their mouth were always soft when you speak a soft words into the ears of a man, of your husband, even if he's sad, he will be happy. He will love it and all those annoyances inside of him will go away. Because he has a, warming, a wife that has a warming heart, that has a warming attitude. Women should be warm, not harsh. Respect your men. Try to emulate the Western uh, mothers of old. That is the you will have the best marriage in life. You will have the best children that will grow up in a healthy home. They will all grow up in a healthy home, and you will be proud of them. And people will respect you, even if you are not there. Through their attitudes, through their 
through their behaviors, through, uh, through their characters, they will know they were brought up from a great home. They have a wonderful mother and a great father. For example, sometimes you see some ladies, you want to give uh, maybe give their husband some food, they will call him just with disrespect and say, for example, eh, please, papa, papa, um, bon boy, your food, day table, go carry and chop. If then you see the man walking peacefully and quietly without saying a word because he knows his wife is a troublesome person. Then we walk walking peacefully to eat his food. Then you will see the woman again shouting on top of a voice, a troublesome voice, a troublesome mouth talking. If you like, you shop. Demonstrating, making some hand demonstrations, which is so funny. If you like, you you eat. If you like, you not eat. You not consign me. Hmm? You not consign me. Now you say, say care. Now you say care. I not care, boo. I beg, chop that food, Jare. Chop her. I won't go to the house. Make I go buy that uh, uh, brocade. One new brocade. Just they turn now. We will want to go meet it. Get party for Michi December ND. Isn't that disrespectful? Can you imagine a woman, a wife talking to his husband like that? Isn't that disrespectful? But you see, our mothers of yesterday, yes, how pretty they are. She will serve the table, looking at her walking majestically to her king, approaching him with a smile. And she will say, Odomenuwa, Eneme Neime, Ogiema, Egbene Bolozo, Edune Quinorame, Imoseme, Wokmoniangbe, Wokmoniangbe, we are so tall, Wokbeme, Yagbe, was a ragbon. Baba, if I were a wine, if I do look boji, never if I for ne, ni magari bo. Then you see the man laughing and smiling, looking at his wife and giving her praises. I love you so much, my queen. That is why I married you. I love you, my queen. This is the reasons, one of the reasons I married you and I decided to make you my wife, to make you the mother of my kids. I love you. And sometimes you see some of these men, after the wife giving him so much beautiful praises, you see him saying, mm, smiling with smile, trying to flatter her. Hmm. Hmm. I love you so much. This is the difference, some of the differences, because I can't explain more, I can't give more. There are so many, so many beautiful qualities. Our great mothers of yesterday years has it on record for us to to put into learning into practice when we practice this um attitude we imply it on our day-to-day -day living we imply it on how we handle our home there is an adage which says, it is how you lay your bed that you lie on it. If you spread it well and beautiful, you will have a, a good sleep, a sweet sleep, without having night meals. But if you dress your bed horribly, 
you will dream of different masquerades pursuing you. So ladies, please, give a good examples to your kids so that the world will be a better place for every one of us. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed my message. More updates are coming. Please uh, pause, subscribe to my YouTube channel. My name is Queen Divine. Love you guys.